Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Here with a quick video to discuss whether ibuprofen affects blood pressure, the common over-the-counter medication ibuprofen. Uh, ibuprofen is an NSAID, and the NSAIDs are known to increase blood pressure. Uh, it's in the family called NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. All of these, uh, ibuprofen, sold under the brand name Motrin, Advil, uh, similar medications in the EDSED family like Aleve, Naproxen, those all need to be used with extreme caution in people with existing cardiovascular disease. It is known that people with cardiovascular disease taking an NSAID have an increased risk of heart attack and stroke. These NSAIDs are also associated with increased risk of stomach bleeding. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Now, this is from the FDA website. Just a little further guidance here. I will include a link directly to where the FDA.gov article. But people who have cardiovascular disease, particularly those who have had a recent heart attack or uh, bypass surgery, are at greatest risk. Um, typically, if you have had a heart attack or a cardiovascular procedure, they basically say no NSAIDs for the first year, and after that, with extreme caution. They recommend that I mean, they realize NSAIDs are very effective for a treatment for pain and inflammation. And consumers can still use them, but you have to be aware of the increased risk of heart attack and stroke. So what can we do to reduce the risk with these medications? Obviously, the lowest effective dose is uh, if we can, the lower the dose, the lower the risk. The shortest duration, um, it does seem like the risk can increase even with just a couple of, after a couple of weeks. Regular visits to your doctor, your primary care provider, and you could talk to the doctor about alternatives. I understand there's a lot of chronic conditions like arthritis, um, and things like that where nothing else works. Many people can take medications like ibuprofen for extended periods of time without any issues. However, you, you just have to be aware of the risks, monitor them, um, take steps to reduce those risks, and, and move forward, basically. Um, I do appreciate you watching. Go ahead and ask any comments or any questions in the comments below. I will do my best to answer that for you. Always, always, always talk to your doctor or your primary care provider if you have questions or concerns. If you like videos like these, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. And I thank you for watching.